we are asked to factor the given trinomial by factoring out the greatest common factor. The first step is to determine the greatest common factor of all the terms of the polynomial. We do this by first determining the prime factorization of each term in the trinomial, and then circle all of the common factors among all three terms. To determine the prime factorization of negative 12 y to the fourth, we first determine the prime factorization of 12. 12 is equal to two times six. Six is equal to two times three. Because the prime factorization of 12 is two times two times three, we write the first term of negative 12 y to the fourth as negative two times two times three times four factors of y for y to the fourth. Then we have plus, and now we need to determine the prime factorization of 15 y to the third. The prime factorization of 15 is three times five, which means you write 15 y cubed as three times five times y times y times y. And then we have minus, and now we determine the prime factorization of 18 y squared by first determining the prime factorization of 18. 18 is equal to two times nine, Nine is equal to three times three. We write 18 y squared as two times three times three times y times y. And now to determine the greatest common factor, we circle all of the common factors among all three terms. Notice all three terms contain a factor of three and also two factors of y. which means the greatest common factor of the trinomial is three times y times y, or three y squared. However, in this trinomial, notice how the leading coefficient, which is the coefficient of the term with the highest degree, is negative. Whenever the leading coefficient is negative, it's common to factor the negative out with the greatest common factor, which means we will factor negative three y squared from the given trinomial. Starting with the given trinomial, we now know we will factor out negative three y squared, which will leave us with a trinomial factor. To determine the remaining trinomial factor, we can use our work here. But when factoring out a negative from a trinomial, it is going to change the sign of each term in the remaining trinomial factor inside the parentheses. Looking back at our work here, we can see if we factor positive three y squared from negative 12 y to the fourth, we're left with negative four y squared. But because we are factoring out negative three y squared, we are left with positive four y squared. Notice negative three y squared times four y squared does give us negative 12 y to the fourth. Next, looking at the prime factorization of 15 y to the third, we can see if we factor out positive three y squared, we'd be left with plus five y, but because we are factoring out negative three y squared, we are left with plus negative five y, which is equivalent to minus five y. Finally, for the last term, we can see if we factor out positive three y squared, we'd be left with minus six, but because we're factoring out negative three y squared, we are left with plus six. Notice how negative three y squared times positive six does give us negative 18 y squared, which does give us minus 18 y squared. So this is the factored form of the given trinomial when factoring out the negative as part of the greatest common factor. The last step is to check our work by multiplying these two factors. To verify, we would get the original trinomial. To determine this product, we distribute negative three y squared, which gives us three products. Negative three y squared times positive four y squared is negative 12 y to the fourth. For the next product, we have negative three y squared times negative five y, which does give us positive 15 y cubed or plus 15 y cubed. And then finally, the last product is negative three y squared times positive six, which is negative 18 y squared, giving us minus 18 y squared. And notice how this trinomial is the same as the original, verifying our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.